Hello, let's model this dice with Autodesk Inventor 2023. I'll start a sketch in millimeters and start uh, on the XY plane, a rectangle, center point, go to the origin. Make that a square by applying that equal relationship. And give it a dimension of 16 millimeters. All right. Then let's extrude that. A symmetric extrude of that same value, 16, all right? Um, now, let's define a plane by two coplanar edges, that one and that one. We will work on those fillets, on those corners here. Um, start a sketch with F7. I can see inside and project all edges and create a line from one corner to the other one. Then make a perpendicular line connecting to that edge. Check on the perpendicular um, characteristic. Dimension that at three millimeters and draw an arc from that edge to over here. We want that to be tangent to a line that is parallel to that one. All right, now tangent. And um, now the center of that is therefore here. And what else? Yeah, it's got to be tangent to that edge. Fully defined, great. 3D model, revolve. Take that profile, take that as an axis, and cut. All right, we get that. We can hide that plane and Let's make all of our axes uh, visible and make the circular pattern of that feature around that axis four times. Then mirror that over the X Z plane right here. Okay, great. Now, um, let's fill it everything with a 0.4 radius. All right, great. Now we will start with those dimples or what do you call that? We need a plane offset from one side going to the inside. Minus four. Well, that's exactly what I wanted. And start a sketch on that plane. Again, F7 is helpful. We can project all those edges. 
create a line from over here. And again, let's use that art tool from here to our edge. Wait a second, I didn't get the right one, huh? Again, that end point, that side, and over here. Again, one line with a horizontal constraint and make that tangent. Give that a dimension to the outside um, edge, four millimeters, and give it a height of 0.6. All right, so what are we missing here? Ah, yeah, well, the, the dimension of that, um, that distance, 1.5. All right, we can go right away to the revolve, take that profile, Take that axis, cut it out, accept that. Have a look at that. Great. Hide that plane. And now we will um, start uh, patterning that. First on, on one face, a rectangular pattern. That one. Over that edge three times, again that four millimeters, and let's go the that way. And continue patterning um, like that. Okay, accept that. And we will just um, make a circular pattern of all that around that axis, <clears throat> excuse me, four times. So that's how it looks right now. And again, that one around that pattern. Wait a second, I picked something wrong. Huh? Let's start over. I take that. I take that as an axis. I say four times. And I get that. So let's give all those dimples some nice color glossy black. All right. We can hide all those axes. And then now let's uh, check on this command, delete face. Behavior, we will um, check this box, heal the remaining faces by extending the faces. Uh, Okay, by extending those other faces. Okay, I got one dice here on my uh, desk, and I will just start picking faces. One, two, three. That's number six. Then right next to that is number five. Pick those. All right. Then here, that needs to be number four. Turn that a little. We had the five over here. So the three got to be here. Pick those. Turn that one more for the number. Two. No, no, no. Wait. That is number four. Three, four. Here. That is the number five. 
and there's got to be the number three right next to it, right? Okay, so for the number three, I'll pick that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And then what we get left on the bottom, number one. Accept that. Have a look at the finished product. And well, that's it for on that presentation. I hope you liked the video. If you did, you're welcome to support my channel with a like, a comment, or subscribe. I want to thank you for watching.